am pretty much uh i am i've always been a very open and transparent type of person um i've never really felt the need to hide anything that i was going through now there's a difference between being transparent and keeping things uh that you feel are personal personal there's a difference because you have to draw a line somewhere but i'm not the type of person to fake or sugarcoat anything i never have been um i'm the type of person who pretty much will always tell you what i feel and tell you what it is and how it is um and that's just that i love you on the show keep their feet to the fire i absolutely will only the dimple <laughs> yeah the uh one dimple that me and wanted to have now tisha she has uh two um me and wanda we only have the one but we got them in the in the chin too that's definitely a family trait our our dimples i'm glad that you're putting the truth out there well let me say this um thank you mika um i can only and only feel comfortable putting my truth out there now let me also say this when people come for you and they say that um they say, well, you're discussing my my business. Don't discuss my business. It's kind of like a diss or a jab, especially when you know that you have not done that. Let me backtrack for a minute. Let me say this, okay? Of course, being on a show, there are certain um, things that you're going to have to discuss for the most part. Um, so you get asked to discuss some of those things and some of those things just come up naturally so you take part in the conversation um so i did take part in a conversation about um uh leticia and marcel hold on for a minute y'all my kids just came out here hey y'all okay um i didn't say anything that wasn't already known neither did i try to let me say this y'all um everyone who knows me knows what type of person i am knows what type of friend that i am i am not the type of person that's a malicious person a lot of people are saying and running with the narrative that you went on tv to go against your cousin no i didn't y'all i didn't go on tv i would never go on tv to go against my cousin truth be told my cousin and i had a discussion about that and um <laughs> i'm trying to i'm trying to make sure that i don't say something that i shouldn't say right now um because some things will be revealed and i am new at this so be a little patient with me i'm trying to make sure that i say uh things the correct way and not reveal anything that i'm not supposed to uh reveal just yet but she and i had an understanding she knew that i was going on the show before i filmed one thing she knew we talked about it we discussed some things and we were supposed to be doing this thing together but I feel like she switched it up on me. It was not me who switched it up on her. It was her job. Well, not her job, but it was she who switched it up on me. Hey, beauty, uh, we know you're... No, I'm not a malicious person. And I do want everyone to understand that. Um, it. I, I have had a lot of people, you know, trying to come for me and say, you know, uh, you're disloyal, yada, yada, yada. Let me make this very clear. I have always been the type of person to stick up for my family and my friends and the people who I love there is I can't even think of a time somebody has come for my family or my friends in my presence that I didn't get involved okay I have always been that person that rah rah person for Tisha like what you want to do like nah they not gonna mess with you um what we need to do what's happening don't talk to my cousin this way don't treat my cousin that way I would jump for her before she would jump for her that's how it's always been. Kiki has always jumped for Tisha. And I don't feel like that's always been reciprocated. As a result of me becoming fed up with deal dealing with certain things in our relationship, I decided that I'd had enough. Um, and I've ha I had enough of the, the, the victim, playing the vi people playing the victim card when they the case so even for her to run with that narrative that i was coming on to the show to try to be malicious and going or go against her when she knows very well that's not the case that really 
really ticked me off. And I most definitely felt and still do feel some kind of way about that because she knows that's not the case. And that's why in a post that I did make, I know a lot of people saw the post where, you know, I said some not so nice things um, about my cousin and I did do some name calling. Um, Y'all, I do not make excuses for that. That was wrong. I'm a hothead. And when people do things to take me off, a lot of times I just react. And later on, I come back and I say, you know, I, sh I should have handled that differently. That's one of my flaws. That's one of the things that I'm working on. But, you know, if um, people who love Kiki, they love her flaws. And they also understand that I have to work on some things in my life. And that's one of the things that I have to work on. It's not responding um, to certain things when I'm angry and in the moment. So let me answer uh, some questions. That's the problem. She needs to handle her own problems. I agree. And I was one of the people who would always jump in and handle her problems for uh, for her. And let me say this. Not even that. Um, there was a time when uh, uh, we were in college. And Tisha didn't have a boyfriend at that time. And I knew that she was, you know, um, sad that she didn't have a boyfriend. So what I would do every birthday, every Valentine's Day, I would go and get, you know, like one Valentine's. I went and got um, her a bunch of balloons and flowers and a card and, you know, some other stuff was and i had an extra key to her car so i uh surprised her i put all the stuff in her car and when she came out you know her car was decorated with balloons and all kind of things those are the types of things i do for the people that i love but because i care that they feel happy or that they are happy and the fact that she was sad that she didn't have anybody to spare though us uh, share those special days with made me sad so i wanted her to feel happy so i would do things like that for her but you're most definitely right she does need to handle her own problems and she has a voice she can very well speak up i'm not sure why she allows people to she's more than capable of speaking her piece herself um my skin tone is beautiful thank you very much thank you thank you thank you um okay let me see what does that say it was another question that i wanted to answer what is it da, da, da. keep it classy um because i will most definitely keep it classy as much as i possibly can i've always tried to um set the standard for being um a classy woman and exhibiting all things all things class but um sometimes the ratchet can come out <laughs> it can no doubt about that so i'll try my best to keep it classy my thing why would she tell the host your personal business now that's something that will be discussed um as we get more into the show they say to marceau they say they felt compelled to tell the host my personal business because um what reason did they site for telling them they said they wanted to make sure that um they were i don't know i don't want to say protected because it definitely was not a situation that they needed be, to be protected they felt like they would be doing the host a disservice if they didn't let them know and i disagree i disagree totally which is something that we will explore um as we get further into uh, the show and I'll give my reasons for why I feel like it was unnecessary completely unnecessary for them to share things with them about me and um, I'm sure you'll hear you will hear their reasoning for um, sharing or disclosing those things about me um, let me see what else uh, da, 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 da. hi 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 um, we saw you call out Kimmy for Tisha last season. Let me address that. I did not call out Kimmy. Now, this is all on tape, on film, right? This is what happened. Kimmy and um, my cousin, Tisha's younger brother, T-Man, they were having a discussion. I was right there. I think I walked in on this or I walked up onto the discussion. And um, while I was right there, I, I took part in the discussion. And uh, Kimmy asked if I'm not mistaken, she asked me, she said, um, what, let me think, how did it go? I think she said, um, what did I, what, what was I supposed to do in that moment or something like that? Yes, come on, dude. 
goodness. Been all wow. Hold on one minute, y'all. Um, when I walked up, uh, Kimmy and T Man, they were having a discussion about um, why Tisha was upset with her. That's what it was. Why she was upset with her with how she handled things at the uh, reunion. And she asked me. She said, "Well, you know, why did why was she upset? What did I do wrong?" And I said. I think she feels like you could have had her back a little bit more because when I saw, you know, Tisha say one thing and then them ask you, you contradicted what she said on national TV. So I know that in that moment, Tisha was really embarrassed. Like, damn, I just lied. And then Kimmy just, you know, kind of verified the fact that I lied. Like, chick, couldn't you wait until we got home to tell me that? That's all I was trying to express is how Tisha felt. Not necessarily how I felt. I didn't really see anything wrong with the way Kimmy answered the question. But um, I think she did, in fact, call out the fact that uh, Tisha was telling the lie. Um, and that's all. I never tried to come for Kimmy. Ever. I just took part in the conversation. That's about it, though. I feel she did it because she didn't want you to be a part of the cast. I most definitely feel like they said some things about me that they should not have said in order to um, exclude me from a certain um, social circle, maybe. And I could be wrong. That's just Those are my feelings. That's how I feel. I feel like they told them because they wanted them to view me in a certain way. Um, I don't feel like what they said the reason that they said that they told them is i don't feel like it's genuine i don't i could be wrong but i don't feel that way um have you been to mills events in the past that's another thing that will in fact come up on the show mel and i have had events that we were both uh that we have both attended together okay I will not, I cannot say right now, I can't answer that question right now. You will see me answer that question on the show though, because I don't want to, I don't want to give that up. So keep watching and that will most definitely be addressed. And if need be afterwards, then I'll come back on and I'll address it, you know, after you guys see it. Um, but she didn't lie. They called her bougie in her face, not behind her back. Uh oh, Mill told them to leave afterwards. Yeah, I, re I do remember uh, seeing that that scene where they called uh, Mel bougie because uh, she was rubbing necks with the upper echelon at that point. Um, I didn't really understand that, but hey, to each his or her own. Um, I don't know what all happened, but you are killing it on the show. I feel like you should be a permanent cast member. Well, thank you. Um, well, I guess we'll see what happens. That remains to be seen. Keep this Tisha personality on the show true to her real life personality you know what people view her different uh, her personality differently some people see this uh, meek mild um, naive type uh, character some people see a strong boss chick you know making moves I would say that Tisha is most definitely a lot stronger than people give her credit for um she's not as mild as and meek and not as much over of a pushover as people you know try you know for i know that for a fact because let me tell you I, and we said this in one thing but i don't think i think they cut it out leticia and i have a fist fault i have fist fought with her more than any person in this world me and Leticia have fist fought more than anybody I know. And she's not the type of person who will back down from a fight. A lot of people think, oh, Tisha wouldn't bust the grape. Oh, yes, yeah, she will. She'll throw them hands. Don't get it twisted. The best one will come out, and she will most definitely throw them hands. And, you know, um, we've had, sometimes I've gotten, you know, the upper hand on her, and sometimes she's gotten the upper hand on me, but for the most part, I always beat her down. No, I'm just joking. Um, so her personality on the show... Um, I think that sometimes people get it right and sometimes uh, people get it wrong. I do feel like people perceive her relationship with Marceau, um Sometimes I feel like they perceive it accurately. But she's not even as much of a pushover with Marceau as y'all think she is. Really. A lot of times I can uh, give her credit to say a lot of times she does make decisions um, and run 
pretty much the household, you know. Now, if Marceau really puts his foot down and feels some type of way, then that's the way that they roll. But she most definitely holds her weight when it comes to, you know, making decisions in their house. She's not as much of a pushover as they make her seem to be. I will say that. Uh, maybe manipulative. I don't see weak at all. Um, tell me if she back towards you getting on the show. Uh, I can't address those two things right now. Is she competitive with her women friends? Not for the most part. Mm, not really. No. Is she competitive with me? I feel like so. Yeah. Um, da -da -da. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I'm kind of glitching up a little bit. Come on, phone. What's up? Um, I, I do know, uh, do I know Coleslaw? They sell Coleslaw at KFC. Um, let me think of some other places that they sell Coleslaw at, uh, Bojangles. The Bojangles. I don't really like Coleslaw, though. I've never really, um, I've never eaten Coleslaw. I don't like really the taste. So, um, I do know of some, co some places that sell Coleslaw. I do. Um, I knew it. Da, da, da say that I was most definitely floored when I saw Tisha say um, I want to make sure the quote to quote this accurately she said I believe that Kiki is um, Kiki feels like I'm living the life that she's supposed to be living I was floored and shocked and surprised because that's most definitely my first time hearing anything close to anything uh like that from her as it related to me i have always cheered for her through the poor connection hold on it keeps pausing i don't know that keeps messing me up um i've always clapped for tisha so why she feels like i would feel like she's living the life that i'm supposed to be living i have no idea i am my own person i always have been i've never competed with anyone been the type of person to um shape my friends or try to compete with anyone be jealous or envious of anyone that's just never been me i didn't grow up that way my mother is not that way i've never seen those characteristic traits from my mom and she didn't pass those down uh to us or teach us those things at all i have um uh, y'all have five sisters so for me i, I, I learned how to share and be a giver to other women early on early on i learned how to help other women or other girls um let me see how to help them with anything that they had going on because i was the oldest and i'm a girl and i have five sisters so i've just never had that jealousy trait because i've always had to help my sisters so i've always been that type of person to want to help other women out and i still am um tisha was the only girl so I guess I can kind of, other woman or girl coming into her space can kind of disrupt that for her. Uh, da, da, da. What else? Hold on. I'm sure she's probably threatened. Da, da, da. Um, I hope that you guys do see get to see my true personality. I do have a very dynamic personality. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm a tell it like it is type of person. I'm fun. Um, uh, I'm smart. A lot of people had questions about me being uh, an educator. I was an English professor at Alabama A&M University for uh, 12 years. Um, I taught there. I graduated in 2008 with my master's degree, and I started teaching there as, a, as an English professor at 26 years old, right the semester after I finished, and I did it for 12 years. Um, I left my job. I resigned back in uh, 2019, right before the pandemic uh, hit, to uh, become a full-time writer and to become an entrepreneur. I've never really wanted to teach forever. I do want to teach forever, but on a much larger platform. And I want to teach more than just about uh, English and literature. I think there's so much more to life that I have to offer. So many of my life experiences um, that I've 
gone through and learned from, I feel like I can help other women navigate those experiences and come out on top. And that's what I'm more so about than anything else. Okay, uh, any other questions before I go? And y'all keep in mind, this is like, you know, one of my first lives. So uh, be patient with me. Um, I'm learning this thing. Um, so if anything, they need to be jealous of. I can't with you. I can't. I'm not going to even repeat that. Um, why do you think everyone is attacking Mill instead of celebrating the success within her? You know what? I think that um, Melody is most definitely the type of woman who anyone who d does not have enough confidence about themselves can be threatened by. You know, um, she's sh she's always shaking and moving. Uh, she's very confident and very sure of herself. And I, I like those traits about her because I'm a confident woman as well. Um, so I think that people can be intimidated by her if they don't understand who she is as a person. They can take it as aggression instead of, instead of confidence. And I see confidence from her, not necessarily aggression. Uh... I do feel like a lot of people don't want to face the truth about a lot of things that's um, happened and been been said and been put out there. And a lot of people keep saying this as well. A lot of people keep saying, you know, what's your story? What is it that Tisha and Marceau told? And I keep saying over and over, um, y'all, just give it time. It will all play out. Y'all know we on the show, right? So y'all know that these things are, you know, recorded and there's certain things that we can't disclose before they're shown so after they're shown we can most definitely uh give more of an insight on the things that have taken not beforehand stop putting the cart ahead of the horse out it will come in due time i promise you and when it does come i will discuss it with you you can tell me you know what you think about it i'll tell you what i think about it and i also tell you what i plan to do with it because you better believe I got a plan for my story. You ain't heard my story yet, but you will in due time. I promise. Okay. Uh, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you so very much. I so appreciate that, y'all. Thank you. Um, let me see. Mel talked about everybody on the show. Y'all, come on now. If you're in a circle of people, everybody. And honestly speaking, that's their jobs <laughs> that's what that's one of the things that they're there to do they're there to speak about us you can't have a show come on now let's be rational think about this you have a show with six people on the show nobody ever talks about anybody nobody ever mentions anybody else's name you think that's realistic it's not you think that would make for good tv it wouldn't would that be fun and give people, you know, the excitement and anticipation to watch to see what, you know, nobody didn't say about their cast members? No, it wouldn't. People talk about, every, everyone who's on the show does talk a little ba bit about the uh, other people that are on the show. That's just how it is. That's the show. Um, Let me see who else have me and... Tisha made up. You're going to have to keep watching to see. I don't know. Did we? Did we not? Um, it's my dad's birthday, and he say you so fine, Kiki. I know, Uncle Bebe. R.I.P. to my Uncle Bebe. When I was a little girl, he would always tell me, Kiki, you so fine. Thank you, Uncle Bebe. He put confidence in me early on. Thank you. Okay, um, that would be a boring show. They all have admitted to talking about each other. Exactly. So, I don't know why people act like it's such, you know, like a terrible thing that, uh, you know, she talked about this person. Or something. Now, in the way, the context does make a difference in the way someone shares information about someone else. However, everyone is going to talk about every everybody that's on the show at some point. That's just, you know, what it is. What do I think of Destiny? I've only met Destiny a couple of times. Um, I think that she's a beautiful girl. Um, she was nice when I met her. Um, she seems like she's fun and, and, and cool. And 
that's just, you know, that's what I think of. I don't know her that well, but I think that she's a very uh, beautiful woman. And um, I met her baby boy, Lau. He's adorable. Um, that's all I really uh, can say because I, I don't, I've never really uh, conversed with Destiny like that to be able to give an opinion on her. Okay, anything else, y'all, before I go? Um, I love you, too. I love you, too. We need to lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yes, I agree. We most definitely need to lift each other up. But let me say this as well. Um, let me say that in order to lift people up, sometimes... You have to go through the ugly and you have to get to the root of any kind of issues and flaws that um, you might see or that they might have. It's kind of like like somebody said about salvation earlier. Um, let me quote this from the Bible. He said, um, what does that verse say? Um, I'm going to quote it inaccurately just so you know, because I don't know it verbatim. But this is the gist of it. It says something like... Um, if you know that your brother uh, has sinned, you know, go to him and um, I think go to him and let me see. How does it go? Dang it. Go to him maybe in confidence and, and tell him. And if he doesn't listen, then go and get more uh, some more people from the church and then go back to him and try to persuade that brother to turn his life around or uh, not commit that sin or whatever. It's something like that. That's the gist of it. I'm paraphrasing. So um, I think that certain things have to be brought to light. And they have to be addressed in order for us to get to the point to where we can lift each other up and inspire each other to do better. Everybody, I don't care what anybody says, nobody's perfect. Everybody has some ugly in them that uh, needs to be addressed somewhere, myself included, myself included. So I think it's unrealistic for people to walk around and uh, on this high horse as if they don't have anything that can be perfected or worked on in their lives. We all do. We all fall and come short of the glory of God. I don't care what anybody says. We all do. There's not one perfect human being. So I do agree that we need to focus on lifting each other up more but I also think that we need to call people out when we see um, them going astray and hold them to that. And then think about the success story that you have to tell and the inspiration that we can be once we self-correct our behaviors and become better on the other side. Then you get that were on the same path as you, dealing with the same thing as you. You get to help them correct as well. So, yes, let's inspire people in, uh, uh, that way instead of tearing each other down. Um, okay, anything else? Anything else? Um, is Wanda in her other kids' business as much? Wanda is in everybody's business, okay? Everybody's business. If you have any business and Wanda is around, she is in your business. Trust and believe. <laughs> Maybe I missed it. But are you supportive of Mill? I am supportive of everyone. Yes, I am supportive of Mill. I am, uh, regardless of what it looks like, I'm supportive of Letitia. I'm supportive of Destiny. I'm supportive of Kimmy, Stormy, um, Tiffany. Every last woman on that show, I am 100% supportive of, regardless of whatever you see us uh, go through. We are all, I feel, beautiful, black, educated women. And do we argue about certain things? Absolutely. But I don't feel like any of those things overshadow uh, me supporting any of the cases. them all absolutely 100 mm. percent if this is an interesting question let me say this okay if you and tisha switch places would you be proud of all of your actions in the relationship i like that question that's a very good question um let me say that i feel like i would yeah because especially because i know my heart and I know my intentions and I know um, where I know how much I love that girl. Anybody who's been around us knows how much I love that girl. I love her very much. I've only ever wanted to see my cousin succeed. Um, uh, 
I came to A&M a year before Tisha did. And I'll never forget right before, you know, uh, when she was still a senior in high school and trying to think about where she was going to go. I was like, come to A&M, come to A&M, you know. And so we, uh, she came and, you know, we all lived together. We were sweet mates, you know, in the dorms for a long time. And then she and I moved out to uh, into our apartment. Uh, we got our very first apartment together. And uh, we lived together for a few years until I decided to go um, separate ways. And so I most definitely look back at our relationship and I am proud of um, how I've handled uh in our relationship because I know that I've only ever loved her. Now, have I done so or said some wrong things to her? Or, um, yeah, I have a smart mouth and I'm bossy. I'm kind of bossy, y'all. So, mind you, I said that, you know, I'm the oldest out of, you know, five, five sisters. I'm the oldest. I also have two brothers, but I have five sisters. So, I'm used to being, you know, I'm used to being in charge. So when I started hanging with Tisha and I'm trying to boss her around and tell her what to do. And she's like, who you think you are? You ain't my mama. You're not going to boss me around. And I'm like, you going to do what I said do because Kiki said do it. And she's like, nah, not happening that way. And I'm like, what? Not happening that way. That's how I went. <laughs> I'm just joking. But no, we did um we did have some altercations because I was bossy. So I would say I'm not necessarily proud of some of those moments. But I know that I've never ever done anything to maliciously hurt her or wrong her ever in my life. Um so that's that. I would I think I would be proud. That was a good question, by the way. Thank you. Um anything else? I'm gonna answer one more question. I want it to be a good one. Hold on, let me see. Um da -da -da. Thank you, y'all, for the condolences. Thank you very much. Um, crazy. I swear, some of the stuff y'all be saying, I will not repeat, but y'all crazy. Just know that. Y'all crazy. How does... Mm, that's a good question, but I ain't touching that yet either. Y'all gonna uh somebody said, How do the other family members uh feel about you being on the show? Uh we have a scene coming up that gets pretty explosive where um we are around our family. So I don't wanna address that before that happens. Okay. Okay. I address I definitely thank you, Mika. Wanda mentioned my mom and my grandmother in her life. She did. Um, I was not very happy about that. Neither was my mother or my grandmother. Very happy about that. They know the woman that they raised. Uh, my mom and uh, my grandmother are um, uh, definitely children of God. Um, they are definitely. My grandmother is a devout Christian woman. Like if you could imagine an angel on earth. That's what my grandmother embodies. Very graceful, very classy and elegant. Soft-spoken, uh, beautiful. Um, she has always the word of Christ and to live as Christ-like as you possibly can. So, you know the apple didn't fall too far from the tree. So, if my grandmother embodies that, then my mother also embodies that. And my mother passed that on to her girls. My grandmother and my mother have never been... Um, the messy type, the type that were always involved in different people's, you know, lives and mess and stuff like that. So they were very upset about uh, my aunt mentioning them in her life. She has, they have absolutely nothing to do with anything that's been said. Um, when I talked about the situation of them uh, pitting us against one another, in no way did that include my mom or my grandmother. They have never... Y'all, I just didn't grow up around jealousy. I, I did not. I never saw that from my mom and my grandma. It was always love, you know, show love, help people, um, uh, be grateful. Um, it was always be humble. It was things like that. It was never, ever, oh, well. Uh, you got to be careful, but you got to watch her. Be careful about her because uh, she jealous of you. You going to be jealous. It was never that. It was just never that growing up. I, every word that they taught us, some back to um, the love of Christ. And 
that's what I try to use as my moral compass, and that's what I try to use to stand on. And again, do I fall short? Many times I have fallen short, absolutely. And I'll tell y'all that. But do I get right back up and keep it pushing? Absolutely, I do. And try to learn from those mistakes, I do. So that is what I want you guys to see from me more than anything else. I want you to see a normal human being who has gone through some uh, amazing things in life and has made some amazing accomplishments, but who has also fallen down, got knocked down, and got right back up to keep persevering, to move on to bigger, better, and greater. Because God has so much in store for me. And I cannot wait until y'all can see the beauty and the true essence of my personality and who I am as a woman. Um... I hope that um, see the beauty in me as much as I know that there is beauty in the person that you see when you look in the mirror. I love y'all. That's my time. And that is where the video stops. She finished her live. So that's where I'm going to stop too. Do not forget to like the video. Comment in the comment section. Also, follow me on social media. Peace.